Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Livingston. And I'm Jay Struberg. Russian President Vladimir Putin is calling for the U.S. to cut off military aid to Ukraine and says it's up to the U.S. to arrange negotiations to end the war. Putin's remarks came in a largely non-confrontational interview with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson. Calling Ukraine a, quote, satellite of the U.S., Putin said American leaders should recognize Russia had legitimate reasons for its 2022 invasion. Here with his reaction to the interview is Jack Barksky. He worked as a Soviet spy in America for 10 years and then escaped the KGB by faking his own death. A remarkable story. He also wrote about his experiences in his book, Deep Undercover. Really uh, glad to get to speak with you today yeah. because this interview is catching some headlines. Um, and you know about the inner workings of the Kremlin. So when you were approached by the KGB in your early 20s, they convinced you that you were on the right side of history. Now, President Putin is still trying to paint a narrative that decisions to invade Ukraine were justified. How much did this interview help him advance that narrative? Depends upon which audience you're talking about. Uh, with regard to the home audience, that home run because you know he here I am you know, talking to one of the the, the most prominent uh, journalists quote unquote journalists uh, in the United States and I owned the guy and I I took him to school uh, with regard to in the American audience I think uh, if if they're like me they will they will I, I require hardship pay for having to watch uh, this two hour boring. Uh, lecture fundamentally a lecture by Putin. He he owned he owned uh, Tucker Carlson and and I uh, I may if I may volunteer, Mr. Carlson was woefully unprepared. Hmm. Yeah, it was not a confrontational whatsoever. No uh, sense of any holding the feet to the fire or anything like, like that. a normal journalist like a, like would do because he's a commentator. Exactly, exactly. So Putin claimed the war on Ukraine could end if the U.S. stopped supporting Ukraine. Here are his comments. Let's take a listen. If you really want to stop fighting, you need to stop supplying weapons. It will be over within a few weeks. That's it. And then we can agree on some terms. So what is your reaction to that? But then also, what is your reaction to the U.S.'s role in this? Because as all of this is going on, you know, here we can't get a border deal together that includes aid to Ukraine, that includes aid to Israel. How does that then make our support look for Ukraine at a time like this where he's doing interviews with Tucker Carlson and, and saying essentially that this could be over if we just did not get involved? Now, this is a question that requires about a half hour answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is, this you is got so 45 complex. seconds. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want to get into uh, uh, United States internal politics at right. all, but I just want to, want to point out that even a simple fact check, and uh, first of all, uh, uh, um, um, Mr. Carlson said through that interview, most of that interview, like a like a, a middle school student. But at one point, he should have been prepared to know that Putin was just lying because Putin was uh, was stating that the war was started by Nazis in the Ukraine in, in 2014. That's a bl blatant lie. In uh, 2014, there was an uprising uh, by the people to support the parliament decision to get closer to uh, the European Union. And then uh, Putin, the next step, he invaded uh, Crimea. So. You know, this 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 was this was a disaster. I'm sorry, I can't get into a, any of the other issues because you know it's a, it's a way too complicated. And there there are issues within the United States, and there there, there are parties that have certain opinions I don't agree with. But this, this is not uh, this is not my expertise. I'm not a political commentator. Yeah, and whether it's Putin saying that uh, the, the war in Ukraine could end if the U.S. Uh, pulled its re uh, funding of Ukraine, or Putin saying that Russia had no intentions of expanding the war into Poland or Latvia. These are, these are claims that he's making, but I guess as somebody who has worked within Russia, what do we need to know about his way of thinking? If the U.S. pulled out, what would happen? Uh, he, did, interestingly enough, he never said what his goals are. He never said, so this is what I want to, to agree uh, with whoever is uh, on the other side of the table uh, and, and we get it done. So 
So the, he, he played. He played it. He played it as well as Putin can play it. it he is just a fabulous manipulator. And uh, with regard to going into Poland or uh, the Baltic states, he is not suicidal. He. he, he I don't think he. he you know. He throws this. He throws this out as a threat. The same way that occasionally somebody in his uh, cabinet says something about using the nuclear option. Uh, that he's not suicidal, but uh, you know he's he's playing this. He, but he, he the bottom line is we can't guess what he really wants to end this war. Uh, and so this thing, in my view, is going to go on. Unfortunately for the poor people in in Ukraine and by the way in Russia as well. Yeah, and we're heading into year three of this conflict. Uh, in the final minutes of the interview, Tucker Carlson pressed President Putin about releasing Evan Gershkovich, uh, the American reporter who has been held in Russian captivity for nearly a year now. Here is his response. We have done so many gestures of goodwill out of decency that I think we have run out of them. No. We have never seen anyone reciprocate to us in a similar manner. However, in theory, we can say that we do not rule out that we can do that. Is there a glimmer of hope here? I don't think you typically hear the words goodwill and decency when you're talking about what is going on in Ukraine right now. But do you think that there is any hope? Well, first of all, Tucker just uh, wanted to uh, become a hero uh, by Putin saying, yeah, okay, we let him go. Put Putin, Putin's cagey answer is uh, just business as usual. Uh -huh. what, what he hinted at was like, okay, you know, we, we, can, we can work on some kind of an exchange when, you know, when the FSB will talk to the CIA and uh, hopefully we have somebody, we have this guy here and you need to release somebody over there. there this wasn't another no answer by Vladimir Putin. He fundamentally didn't answer any of the questions directly. I remember the last time there was an exchange, it was for Brittany Griner, for right. a guy known as the Merchant of Death yep. Yep. In, in, in Russia. So yep. not exactly an equal exchange. Correct. <laughs> Former KGB that, spy. That's historically. Go ahead. Okay, that's historically the MO that, uh, that the KGB uh, pursued, uh, and uh, that's still the same thing with, with, with Russian intelligence. Jack Barsky, former KGB spy, really fascinating conversation. Thanks for coming on, sir. Thank you.